When planning your attire, you'll want to keep in mind that certain outfits are more appropriate than others when caring for individuals with ASD. Make sure you choose clothes that will allow you to be comfortable yet active. Hopefully you've talked to the caregivers briefly so you'll know some things already about the individual you're watching. Consider whether you'll need to wear shoes that will allow you to be active or wear a shirt that will keep you from getting scratched. If you have long hair, it would probably be best to pull it back. Some individuals with ASD like to pull hair, so this will help you avoid any uncomfortable situations in that respect. If you usually wear jewelry, consider keeping it simple when you're working with individuals with ASD. Avoid wearing long earrings or necklaces and any sharp rings or bracelets. When you first arrive at the home of the child or teen that you're going to be caring for, there are several things that you can do to make sure that the interactions you have during your time are going to be successful and productive. You can start by checking the environment, being proactive with behaviors, and then also making sure that you are prepared for any emergencies that may arise. Many individuals with autism spectrum disorders do not have the same safety awareness as their same age typically developed peers. You may think he's 10 years old, he wouldn't touch a boiling pot of water on the stove, but that might not be the case. Make sure that you check the environment for any potentially dangerous situations, such as a hot stove or a sharp knife on the counter that would be within a child's reach. Everyone's home is different and each presents its own challenges. Some things you may want to be on the lookout for are pool areas, open areas that may allow for easy escape, balconies, or sharp utensils that have been left out in the kitchen. You may also need to check on how the child interacts with family pets.